Hey guys, this is my uh, 4x4x4 single color LED cube. Um, since then I've built an RGB one, but it's this one is still pretty cool. It's my first one. It's not the first LED cube or anything. Uh, there's a lot of people who built this and I uh, found some LEDs one weekend and I was like, I gotta do something with these and I decided to try one of these LED cubes. So basically, oh, well, let's turn it on first. So switch here. So this first one I wrote is basically just randomly uh, turn on one of the dots and I think I pick like eight of them and then it goes from the center and then keeps on lighting up all the outside ones. And then the second one was uh, basically going on the vertical horizontal uh, planes and just basically move them back and forth. So, and you can write all sorts of things. Basically, you have control on um, how you have control over every LED. And only one of them is actually on at one point. But due to POV, persistence of vision, it appears that, you know, all 64 of them could be on at the same time. So, it was a lot of fun. Uh, it was a lot of work to solder all those LEDs. But uh, I got it done. I think it's basically one weekend. It was uh, much faster than I expected. I thought it would take a lot longer to solder all those LEDs. And basically how it works is on every level, each of these levels, the cathode, the negative lead is common. And I don't know if you could see it, but basically it goes across and then it goes through here and all those are connected for that one layer. All those negative leads are common. It goes down here. One of those yellow that you see four yellow wires there that's one for each level so that's the negative lead and those are driven by four uh, transistors because each of those uh, has to drive all 16 on that level so I put a transistor on on uh, for each level and then the anodes of all of the levels so for let's say this one here it goes all the way down from from there you could probably see it that that LED and and the next one the next one below it they're all connected to one lead and so there's 16 of those going down and each of those 16 are these white wires and those goes to the um, 16 IO pins on the Arduino and that use up all 20 uh, of the Arduino pins including the RX and TX that you know I have to use to actually transfer the code so that's why the switch is here sometimes it just act up because like the LEDs are there and the uh, uh, computer cannot properly send and receive signals so I put that switch to basically turn off power to all the LEDs so the uh, RX and TX pins could pr uh, function as normal so let's see what else can I tell you um, that's about it I think it was a lot of fun to build and uh, it's something that you guys could probably try and it's quite rewarding to see it light up and you just have to be careful to make sure that you wire them correctly and to test every LED to make sure that you don't have a bad LED uh, when you first light it up so thanks for watching guys bye bye